Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD, is globally one of the most common chronic liver disorders. Severe cases of this disease are characterized by the presence of non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, and liver fibrosis. These conditions indicate disease progression and can predict the occurrence of more serious conditions like cirrhosis and cancer. Liver biopsy is currently the gold standard for diagnosing these disorders. However, this procedure is invasive, prone to observer bias, and lacks proper standardization. To address these problems, studies have explored non-invasive methods for assessing NAFLD, NASH, and fibrosis. Now, researchers from China have reviewed some of the recent developments in non-invasive techniques used to diagnose NAFLD. The review focuses on two types of non-invasive tests. Serum biomarker tests and scores provide modest accuracy and are useful to diagnose NAFLD. These include steato test and NAFLD ridge score for hepatic steatosis, serum cytokeratin-18 fragment and alanine aminotransferase for NASH, and fibrosis-4 index score and enhanced liver fibrosis panel for liver fibrosis, among others. The advantage of these methods lies in their easy availability in primary clinical settings. However, some of these tests are influenced by age and gender and have lower sensitivity for early stages of the disease. Imaging methods are more accurate in assessing liver diseases. Methods using ultrasound and magnetic resonance imaging-based techniques can detect and measure disease severity with high accuracy. Abdominal ultrasound is the first-line diagnostic approach for fatty liver. Recently, techniques such as quantitative ultrasound and vibration-controlled transient elastography have been developed to assess hepatic fat and rule out fibrosis, respectively. Magnetic resonance elastography is also used to assess tissue stiffness in the staging of NASH and fibrosis. However, these methods are often expensive, have limited availability, and may require experienced operators. In conclusion, these methods require clinical validation to test their efficacy in monitoring treatment response. The researchers therefore recommend selecting suitable liver assessment methods based on their availability, cost, and local expertise.